and hey welcome guys, to this brand new video. Brand this is KNTV, and, 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 and today I want to discuss, discuss what, I meant, what I meant with the 4,000 euros bonus that I talked about in my short. So, this is all about a mess. Before we start talking what I meant with that bonus and why it is so important, just a few facts about Hermès. For those of you who don't know, Hermès is a French luxury brand. We can see that since they're high in 2021, then they sold out and now they had an amazing performance since June of 2022. And I've literally managed to sell, I hope I can find the screenshot. I've literally managed to sell on that day. I think somewhere on that, like at the low. It's been one of the biggest investment mistakes I ever did, but that's not so important because if we go to that lovely page, we can see a few key figures. So for example, their revenue in 2022 was 11.6 uh, billion US dollars, uh, amazing growth of 23%. 2021, it was just 9 billion. The recurring operating income was almost $4.7 billion. And 40 and percentage wise of the revenue, it's quite high because it's like 40%. And I kind of like that because in the luxury segment, you have very, very solid margins. Also, the operating income grew, the adjusted operating income grew, all fine, all good. And what I love is they have a net cash position of $9.7 billion. So they have almost 10 billion in cash, which I think is absolutely amazing. Because if you have 10 billion in cash, you don't have you don't have that so net cash position that's rather amazing because in times where let's say things are not going the way you want to do then you don't have to worry so much about it because you have that massive cash position here we can see a lovely graph for the revenue how it grew over the time and the operating income as a percent the recurring operating income as a percentage of revenue grew slightly over the time here's a chart or let's use that graph because i think it's more beautiful so the majority of money comes from leather goods and saddlery followed by clothing so i'll just show you a screenshot of a few of their mass products they do sell these very high-end luxury leather goods bags and stuff followed by silk so they have these silk scarf they're like next level my girlfriend talks about them all day long and especially like their bags and then we got a lot of things like watches and perfumes and so on. Here's the revenue divided by geographic. One thing, Hermes is pretty Asia dependent and with Asia, I mean China dependent. China does by far contribute the largest amount of revenue to Hermes. Unfortunately, we don't see an exact number for China, but if you research a bit in the internet, you will find that in many articles. Overall, the revenue is segmented into different areas, but well, China is that dominant player and I personally would love to see Asia being a bit less dominant, but well, I would love to see a lot of things at the end of the day. So another beautiful thing is here we can see the amount of workforce increased almost, no, nah, not almost, but yeah. Sooner than later, we will see that the amount doubled. So now we almost have it. We have almost 20,000. And here we can already see the first thing that is important regarding the $4,000 bonus. A company that increases its workforce over the time is in most cases a company that can do that because their business is solid, the business is booming. And it's the case in a mess. These luxury goods that they produce and sell, they're so requested by wealthy people because they symbolize an exclusivity that cannot be found in other areas of the luxury product. There's this very famous Birkin bag. Even stars like Rihanna and other people, like really famous people, have to wait on a list to get that product. So 
that is the appealing thing. And by waiting on that list, I mean like five or 10 years sometimes. Even if you are among the richest in the world, you can't just walk in an Hermes store and say, I want a Birkin bag. They'd be like, oh, all right, get on the list and wait like everyone else. And that is so appealing. If you really can't have something, regard, I mean, sure, if you pay them a billion dollars for a Birkin bag, then you would probably get one. But I hope you get what I mean. If you, if you really have to wait all through you have 10 million euros on your bank account then that creates desire because you can't have it but you want it here we can see a uh, breakdown of the workforce so that's so good not i mean it's not that special um the majority of people work in france and the most people percentage wise work in production followed by sales and the majority of people that are employed are female so far so good all of that has nothing to do with the four thousand dollars so far a few more data points regarding the stocks uh so we can see the amount of shares pretty much stayed the same the amount of shares excluding the treasuries shares increased a bit then decreased a bit that's the way it is uh, well, we can see the net earnings per share definitely increased, so did the dividend. I mean, that is rather solid. And down here, we can see something that is also important for me. Hermes is a family-owned business. And just as the Birkenbag and all of the products of Hermes are extremely exclusive, so are the shares. So we only have 33.3% of the stocks publicly traded. So they're kind of rare, just as the Birkenbag is a rare thing or any of the other products, which also kind of creates desire, but this time amongst investors rather than people to, who want to buy the product. But we haven't yet really got to the point to talk about these four thousand dollars euros and we'll do that now first of all their first quarter 2023 was amazing as we can see here 23 percent growth <laughs> ridiculous and that's and that's the issue guys that is not a software company they sell clothes and they have these growth rates because as i've mentioned in my inflation video and the first time i ever talked about them Hermes can increase, increase prices by 20, 30, 50, even 100% for Birkenberg. They don't care whether Birkenberg costs 50 or 60,000 or 50 or 100,000. Folks that buy Hermes stuff, they, they buy it regardless of the price. But as we go down here, um, we see these 4,000 euros bonus and pay to all employees worldwide as we've as we can see here in February this year. And if we go down a bit more here, uh, we can see that over 11,000 employees are shareholders or hold rights for free shares. That is around about 56%. And they paid a $3,000 bonus in 2022 for 2021. Okay, all right, so far, so good. Now let's talk why that is important. If we go to this page, we can see that the unemployment rate in Australia is at 3.5%. The unemployment rate in Switzerland is at 2.2%. The unemployment rate in Germany is at 3%. And the one in the United States is at 3.5%. Sheesh, what has all of that to do with the $4,000 bonus? Just talk about it, dipshit. That's probably what you think right now. Now I start. In times where it is increasingly hard to find people to employ as an employer, it is even more important to keep those that you have. In a mass case, it is five times more important. Why? A mass produces the most exclusive clothes there are in the world. No luxury brand creates more desire than this company. That's proven by their sales, that is proven by their reputation amongst customers, that is proven by, for example, that 
No one can get a Birkin bag regardless of the cash. They all have to wait on that list. And they create these extremely, 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 now I've said it four times, extremely extraordinary products. It is quite tough to create these products. It takes a lot of training. And if you buy a 60,000 US dollar handbag, that bag better be more than perfect. Because if it isn't, you're pissed as a customer and that destroys the reputation. So they have to put a ton of work into their employees to make their employees the absolute gold standard of production when it, of, of producing leather goods, of producing silk scarf, of producing all kind of other clothes that they do. Now, let's imagine there's someone who worked at Hermes for 30 years and he knows he or she, well, she most likely knows everything about bags, how to produce them perfectly, about the leather. So really is like the top, top, top employee. And then suddenly now you have inflation. She can't afford her bill anymore. She's having all kinds of problems. And some bosses then be like, no, we can't pay you that. Economic times are changing and uncertainty and there's a recession and blah, 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 blah. Then this person who knows what his value is, he knows, he or she knows how good she is. She just walks to Paris, knocks at Christian Dior's door and be like, you know what, folks? I love to work here. And Christian Dior or LVMH, they will take her. They will take her because they know that her mass is a gold standard of luxury and that this lady is most likely, she doesn't need to be trained. She is perfect. But her mass loses an extremely valuable employee just because they didn't see a reason to pay a few bucks more. Now, I know this is a very basic example, but I hope you got, you know what I mean. It's the same with like, she asked if she could have free Fridays because she has to take care of her mom or her dad, whatever, things like that. Now, a mess pays them a bonus. Now, a mess shows a sign of thanks. Now, they show that they actually care about their employees. And Hermes has two assets and that's it. First, their reputation. Their brand, their reputation of being the best in craftsmanship, the reputation that these products will last forever, the reputation that even if you know, even if you have money, you also have to wait on the list, that these Birkin bags are extraordinary. That is their first asset, their reputation, their brand. The second asset is their employee. Because as soon as they lose their employees in production, I mean, the, the months in sales, you can, yeah, you should train them and everything, but like I worked in an Apple store and I had no clue about iPhones. Well, they taught me a bit and then they were like, yeah, go, that's it. Ashish, I think they will kill me for me saying that, but all right. In an Hermes store, they'll probably train you. And yeah, if you work 25 years in sales in an Hermes store, then you're also a very important asset. But the production is, in my opinion, the more important things because it is way, way co more complicated to produce one of these bags than just sell it. If they lose their employees in production because they don't treat them well, they'll have a massive problem. Because then they hire new folks. These new folks are untrained. You have to train them. It takes time and money. Then these untrained folks, they don't produce a bag in the quality of the old ones. Now a customer comes in, buys a bag sixty worth 60 grand. Be like, uh, well, that, what happened? That's like, it's like, no, uh, no. It's like, that's, that's, that's bullshit. Reputation gone. Yeah. Good. What else do you have? You sell then that then you sell overpriced bags. If I sell you this plastic bag, let's imagine it's out of leather, for 60 grand you wouldn't buy it. But if a mess is written on it and it's leather, then someone would buy it. 
because that's the reputation. But as soon as that reputation is gone, it's just an overpriced bag of plastic, aka leather. That's it. So, what I want is more companies to focus on that. Because here in the Western world, let's say Europe, yes, Europe, US, Australia, it will become more and more important to take care of your employees because they are so rare. And a company like a mass has to do that even more because they have only these two assets. And that's why I love that it is a family brand because families often do care about a long-term perspective. You see a family owned company, they don't care whether the dividend is 13 or 10 euros per year. They'd be fine, okay, let's do it to, to like, I would not be surprised if the family says, okay, let's only have like 10 euros as a dividend, the other three euros go to our employees or go to training our employees or to make sure that they have like a better, I don't know, coffee, so they have like a little break and they get better coffee and blah, 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 you know what I mean. That's the point. So if you invest in companies, check whether they treat their employees right, because employees become more and more an important asset. That's my opinion. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. Also, I should have said that way at the beginning because no one really watches till the end. If you are invested in Hermes, please tell me whether you agree with what I say or not. And if you suddenly have discovered a time machine, please let me know because it still hurts that I thought, oh, sheesh, that would be, dude, that would be such a ridiculous performance. It really hurts. With that said, see you soon, guys. Bye.